There we go. There we go. Hey everybody, YouTube was being a bit difficult with me there. Uh, with It forces you to watch the preview before you can go live and the preview was acting up. Anyways, what? CD not available? That's not right. Alien Logic. Let's play Alien Logic without further ado. There we go. I ran the wrong icon. Alright. SSI presents Skyrealms of Jorn Alien Logic. Uh, let me make sure that I'm transmitting properly since I was having a few technical issues there at the start. Skyrealm. There we go. Good. Okay. Good. Let's go. So, you might wonder why the heck I'm playing this game. And it's because why the heck not? Uh, this is a game I got when I was very young, but when I got it, I couldn't... It, it wasn't compatible with my computer, and I don't know why, but... Now I'm finally going to get to play Alien Logic. Let's play. All I know about this ga game is what I... In ...after unmanned probes reveal a lush, habitable world in a nearby star system. The strata of this planet was rich in crystalline deposits that admitted powerful fields unknown to human science. Voice acting. The same power suspends Jeroen's many floating land masses called Sky Realms. Shanthas, the eyeless natives of this world, practiced a seemingly peaceful technology called Isho, powered by Jeroen's mysterious energy fields. Jeroen. The secret of Isho remained a mystery until after the arrival of ships from Earth. The Shanthas treated the humans' arrival with apprehension. It had been many years since their world had received visitors from beyond the sky, and the true intent of these visitors was unknown. Although they lived in close proximity with humans, the Shanthas sought little contact. All was peaceful until the colony learned of Earth's fate. The hey, colony Vladimir. would never hear from Earth again, <clears throat> nor would more supply ships ever arrive. Earth had destroyed itself. Whatever the cause of the war, the colony knew only that they had been abandoned and that they were forever alone on an alien world. Earth's dead. Determined to survive <laughs> okay. without Earth's support, the colony broke their negotiated treaties with the Shanthas. Sacred grounds were desecrated. Sufficiently provoked, Shanthas revealed for the first time the uses of Isho in war. Shanthic warriors opened warp portals in the midst of each of the fortified Earth colonies and attacked with hordes of warriors wielding blades and daishas. Few humans Bloody. survived. I like it. While the slaughter raged on, <clears throat> one of the colony's biotech scientists released a genetically modified bacterium especially created to kill the Shanthic race. Within days, most of the world's natives passed into Shayi, the Ishulis state. Populations of humans and Shanthas now barely count in the thousands. So they were lied related starvation germ no warfare hostilities between humans and Shantha prevented either race from returning to their past glory during the past 3500 years humans have learned to live on Jeroen some humans have even learned to weave the Isho they are called Mwadra over the last century human society has undergone a renaissance as new realms are explored and Jeroen's vast riches are rediscovered by man the Shanthas have slowly re-emerged to once again reclaim their planet. And yeah, one, I'm okay. Just... The Red Shantha is intent on using humans to further his own... Don't want to talk ambitions. over the, the He has the taken thing. into stasis the humans of an entire village in the realm of Kodra. Only one man survived. Okay, so that now we're here. <laughs> now I can talk a bit more freely. I wanted to listen to that and take that all in. So I'm like the one... I'm like this one human that came out of a, came out of a crystal there, after 3,500 years after the, after the Earth has been destroyed. Okay, you're in the stronghold of the Thriddle. Uh, now tell me, what is your name? Okay, weird eye stalks you got there. Oh, it took away my cursor. I'm Tegan. Tegan. Hmm. Oh, oh, I like that name. Oh, I do. It rhymes with the word for sparic sack in our language. Now, Tegan... Um, oh, I, I missed something. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, good to see you, Vladimir Bear. You're at a hotel by the sea, so you can't hear anything because of the waves. Well, uh, yeah, I'll try to... You might have to turn up the volume, or I might uh, try to speak up for you there. A bit. But, yeah, I was truly trying to take in the story. I hope... 
Yeah, I hope you were able to hear the story there too. Or at the... You can tell me if the volume levels are a bit low on your end, certainly. But, uh... So, uh, what am I doing here? Our esteemed researcher, Herod Go... Od... Odgo... Otgo... Uh, did something now. Excuse me for a moment. Wait. Herid? Yes, Saldor... Saldor? Relates your knowledge of this human to me. As part of my ongoing Keeper Rod components survey, the human's Keeper Rod was opened on OUS 19... 3493. Given the state of the rod... We were expecting a cordon, a cor corodon to emerge. This human was quite a disappointment. I was almost inclined to drop the boulder, anyways. Herod, that would have killed our human visitor. I know. Well, did you at least give him a standard keeper rod imprisonment compensation package? No. Why does the human deserve thirty gem links? Herod! <laughs> he fouled up my experiment. Herod, as your scholarly superior. Yes, weird thumbnails for weird games. I command you to give Tegan the gem links. That's better. Now go away. Your, rep your behavior is reprehensible. You you probably traumatized our guest. I'm very sorry, Tegan. Herod is a respected scholar, but he does not share congeniality common to the rest of our race. His behavior is rude and insensitive, especially considering what our tests on the Keeper Rod revealed after you were released. We know you are from the village of Jordis. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, we need... To, we, we know that your village has been destroyed. Is that, that, it, it sounds like you know a lot about me, but I don't know who you are. I'm Saurav Gomo, Thriddle Seer of the Northwest Woodlands, and the head librarian of this vast complex. Perhaps you've heard of me? I saved the Mountain Crown from the hands of Mustan Kaj back in something. I have heard of you. You're the Thriddle King. The Thriddle have no king. But I provide a path of common enlightenment that keeps many out of trouble. You'd do well to listen to me. All right. Uh, yes. This 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 game is quite weird, and uh, I gotta say, the um, the thumbnail was from uh, the thumbnail is just from the uh, the cover art of the game. Basically, it's just it's just the box art. So apparently, that's what's that's what sold the game. So I don't know. I don't know why that they were trying to uh, how, how they were trying to sell to sell this game using that, but uh, let me turn up my volume levels just a scooch. Maybe that'll help things out. There, I think I'll be a little bit louder on both ends, and maybe that'll help you guys out a bit there. Okay, the game's a little bit about louder. I'm a little bit louder. Hopefully things should even out, and you know I want to keep like a balance between the game and myself, but. Yeah, I could I I, found, I can turn myself up just a scooch there. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I don't like Herod very much. That is understandable. I do not enjoy. I do not know anyone who enjoys Herod's company. <laughs> it is you, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's why I don't want to turn it up too much. However, he earned his uh, position based on skill, and that is the basis that Thriddle are judged. Who is Red Shantha? The Shanthas that destroyed your village, kidnap and kidnapped your friends were all under the command of Daitra Al Desti, the Red Shanta. He is the most violent sh Shanta, I mean, unlike the rest of his peaceful race. For 80 years he has plundered villages, carrying away the inhabitants in Kipa Rods. How, how did you manage to escape? I don't know. A friendly, I mean, a friendly Shanta named Shah Isma placed me in the Kipa Rod and promised me to keep, or promised me he'd keep or, and, and promised me he'd get it to the Mountain Crown. Oh, Tegan, I have bad news for you. Four years have passed since that time. You aren't going to like this, but your Shantha friend didn't deliver the, your Keeper Rod here. How did my Keeper Rod end up here? Herod Go Octgo found your rod, and based on the claw marks found on the exterior, the rod was first held by a Krugar 
then sold to the Vin, uh, the Vin traders who engraved their acquisition's surface with presumed value. On the date of it, the thick layer of crudge skin flakes led us to believe that Keeper Rod was then used by a, court, by a Choriston as a back scratcher. Ultimately, it was discharged and found in a Beagree spawning pit used as some sort of material, housing material, walling material, or something. Uh, we were conducting bigger nest estimates when Herod found Go Otko's team covered in unspeakable filth. Uh, and, and the rod it covered in unspeakable filth. Alright, well, thank you for discovering or explaining my disgusting origins. Yes, of course. Where are my fellow villagers now? But if my information is correct, they are within. or they're with the Red Shantha. I don't know what he intends to do with all the keeper, keeper rods he's been collecting. But my best guess is that it isn't something good. Uh. Tell me how to rescue my village. The solution is very simple. All you have to do is find and defeat the Red Shantha. Sounds pretty simple. Where is he now? His exact location is, or whereabouts is unknown. Uh, presu oops, I clicked. Uh, far to the, presumably far to the west of other known realms. I want to go to Delsha and free my people. Hmm. I think you'll find that a problem. Besides... The Mandare, Scragger, and countless other salvage, savage things. Are, are, there, there are many problems to get to Delta, Delsha. You can't get there from here. Uh, how do I get to Delsha? It's an island. There's no way to get there from land. And the currents offshore would tear apart any boats. Well, that's very inconvenient. The only way to Del get to Delsha is through the warp world. Unless you are a master weaving world... Unless you master Weaving World, you won't stand a chance. Master the Weaving World. Is this gonna involve pipes? It doesn't involve warp pipes, does it? Hello, let's have corn to the warp pipe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a. Uh, I don't know. Warp of the Warp World. It just makes me think of Mario, though. Uh, what's Weaving World? Weaving World is a place where your mind can travel to help with the Kerning Bay to, with the help of a Kerning Bay master. Once there, you can learn the ways to weave Isho into new Daishas. I'm confident you'll master many Daishas with time. A lot of, you know, this is this is reminding me of uh, Vangers. <laughs> just a lot. Uh, just a whole weird world of, uh... Okay, where will I find a Kerning Bay Master? They are exceedingly rare. There's one in Mendrinith. No, wait, that was destroyed by the Kaj Skirmish. In the Kaj Skirmish of... 1380 something. I once visited a master in Heridoth, but he died long ago. Uh, so you'll have to find the city of Ardoth and find a Kerning Bay. Uh, where can I? How, how can I get to Ardoth? The human capital city Ardoth is located near the Warp World exit in the realm of Bur Burdoth. Uh, Burdoth, I, mean, I think it was. What's a Warp World and how does it get me to Delsha? A warp world is a dimension of Jorn that allows you to travel from place to place. But, or Jorun, sorry. But the places you can go to are expanded only through the use of Shanthic devices we call, uh, uh, Sel, uh, Shel, Sel Ishtas. You'll be transported to a warp world and you can go to new places there. Uh, so if I use the Sel Ishtas to expand my travels in the warp world, uh, so I use those. How, how do I find one? In uh, Shanthic sites, vast underground cities and temples and homes and libraries that, uh, the, sh it, that the Shanthas and cre created thousands of years ago have been mainly abandoned. Many of them have shell Eslas. To find these shamanic sites, we are given, you're given ancient Earth Tech satellite tracker that was created by your distant ancestors. We could sell it for unspeakable sums but we'd rather have you in our debts. Oh, well, yeah, apparently this guy's putting a lot of faith in me. Because, uh, what if I just go out there and get killed? <laughs> How will this tracker help me? The tracker will display your coordinates wherever you travel. Using it, you can determine your location on anywhere on Jorun. I happen to know the location of several Chanthic sites that might be of use to you. 
First, we have abandoned the home of Sel C. Ebe. The, the, yeah, the, the coordinates are over there. Just go there. It's your first mission. That, it's rumored to be beautiful. The second site, located in the murky forests of Golunda, is just west of the human city of Ardoth. It is the Kagobi something. The coordinates are 211168. I hope that you're recording this for me. Uh, you might want to try looking in the dwelling of Anna C. Eshta one last time. Investigating its abandoned home might reveal some clues as the location of other cell Eshtas. According to our most recent global archaeological survey, this home can be found at uh, 212 197 or 179. Uh. Okay, I'm worried since I'm asking to repeat these things that I might need to uh, write them down. I don't know. These, these games are a bit, bit more rugged about this kind of stuff. Um, why have they abandoned their underground sites? Because of the disease, right? Yeah, with the wars, the race was almost completely destroyed. The remaining Shanthas abandoned all most of their cities and temples and lived in a small area around Lundere. Oops, I missed one. I clicked. Very few Shanthas remained in their underground settlements as caretakers and guardians. According to the thrill of these, Shantha caretakers are not innately hostile. But one should not expect a warm welcome after stripping an entire com temple complex clean. Noticing I've got little bits of a uh, bit of an orange there. Okay. <laughs> I was eating orange just before the before the the video. Anywho, um Alright. So how can I get to Ardoff? The human capital city Ardoff is located near the Warp World exit in uh Verdoff. Yeah. Uh, that's what you said before. Okay. Thanks for the information. No need to thank me. I only consider it my duty as a thriddle. I come back any time you are having difficulty with your quest. I'm sure I'll be able to help. Oh, I almost forgot. Just in case you get yourself into trouble, here are two uh, crundonas of warps. Use them if you find yourself trapped in a situation you can't get out of. Now, since you seem ready to leave, I'll have my nephew or uh, escort you to our local warp site. Entering it will take you to the warp world. Once you're in the warp world, look for pulsing lights that resemble the stars. And those are exits. <laughs> Nilder! Nilder! To Hotred! Yes, Salro? Please escort Mr. Human Tegan to the warp site, will you? But, Uncle! Don't the dangerous Beagre or Beagre infest that area? Yes, but the Beagre won't bother you unless you bother them. Or be Beagre. The Beagre won't. <laughs> now hurry. Take Mr. Tegan to the warp site. Good luck, Tegan. Okay. Whoa. This game's going a little bit fast. No wonder I was having to read so fast. The game, you know, let's just pull away a few cycles. Let's take a few cycles away there. No wonder I was having to read so fast. Okay. I'm gonna get murdered real fast if I get... Yeah, that, that seems a bit... That seems about right. That seems about right. Okay. Alright. These guys look a little bit weirder in profile than I expected. Alright, uh... Power Orb Shield. Save game. Let's start with that. Alright. Start. Okay, so can I, like, shoot my friends? Power orb! Power orb! Okay, well they, yeah, you can't kill your... We can't kill our new friends here, I'd have to load game anyways. You wanna fight? I look kinda like Han Solo. You're not gonna trap me in carbonite. Shield! Wait. There's a meter here. Alright, shield. Oh, the shield maybe I already have on? I, you know, I don't fully understand the, the overlay here. Yeah, I seem to be switching between these two slots. May I put the shield on the slot, or...? I don't know. Certainly seem to be using power orbs. Okay, well, let's let's try to kill our friends later. Uh, biotech. Yeah, what? Crystals. Crystal power five. A power crystal can only be placed in a power source. Okay, good. Uh, let's... let's gem link 30. Ah, two warp outs. 
trapped in Keeper Rod. Shantha's Burn Jordis. Oh, these are like. This is like my story help. Okay, so. Keeper Rod was rescued by friendly Shanthas. It's a dwelling here. Ah, good! It makes notes of, uh, it makes notes of things I was told. Yay! If I need those coordinates, that'll help. Alright. Just in case I wasted ammo or pissed off someone, I'm gonna load the game. Just, just in case, you know. I'm not sure how this game works. And, uh, whoops. Okay, <laughs> shot the floor anyways. Anyways, uh, that's just one bullet wasted. Let's go! Let's go. Am I supposed to go somewhere? That's a Sarah. How does one leave it? Oh, there we go. I didn't quite walk off the edge. All right. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this speed seems about right. Hey there. I'm conducting a survey. Good for you. How exactly did the imprisonment in the keeper rod make you feel? Oh, that's weird. Was I supposed to answer that question? Greetings, intrepid human traveler. Uh, these cutscenes go a little bit slower now that I reduce the cycles. I am Wago Nogo, and this is Crown Mountain. Ah. Okay. Are all Thriddle as friendly as you? Friendly? 91% of the Thriddle are described, described me as sullen and introverted. Okay. Yes, by all means. I need. I have business to go about. Don't me. Uh, don't ignore your business on uh, my account. Okay, so there's a bunch of thriddle we can talk to. Scan. Ah, oh, the scan tells me things of importance in the area. I'm gonna find. Need to find a happy medium. Which for the for the uh, the the frames. How many times do I have to tell you not to talk to humans? They're dangerous. Bye, big eye creature. <laughs> oh. Like that one was, uh, getting scolded by his mother. Subject human. Uh, yes. Like, sometimes I click, but then it's just about to switch, so it goes tall. Disproportioned. Small cranial cavity. Hey. Don't pinch my trid nodes. That hurts. Unfriendly. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways. I guess we'll just, uh, go out here. Was there, was there someone we were supposed to talk to to go to the next area? Like, it shows that as a door. Gonna just walk off the bottom of the screen. I mean, like, there was a, supposed to be someone that was, like, escorting me or something, right? I just leave down here. Yeah, that works. Okay. It didn't come up. Whoa, hey. All right. So am I, like, traveling? Or where am I? Oh, I'm that thing. Okay, so this is, like, a monster or something? Or I feel like this screen's going a little bit fast. Okay, it looked like... It looked like a monster just went into that thing. Is that, like, a teleporter portal place? Seventy-one, two hundred seven. Okay. There was there was an icon. You saw the icon on the map that just went into the thing. Ah, and these are probably monsters. These are probably monsters. Because I said there was monsters in the area. And then maybe this is the thriddle that is supposed to be escorting me here or something. Or hey, thriddle buddy. Hey, buddy. What do you? Hey, right, Tegan. I'm Nilder Toehid. Or toe something. That there's the warp. Now I'm leaving. All right. Uh, hurry home, Nilder. Goodbye, Tegan. Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes I it, it, the text takes a while. So when I click on to click to skip the text, it skips twice. I need to I need to, like turn up the frames or I need to reconfigure this game so that the frames like auto adjust. Like they're they're capped, but they auto adjust in certain situations. There's a way I can figure out the frames. I didn't I didn't realize I'd need to put the cycle so low. Alright, so now I'm in this place. And things that look like stars. Okay, so I can go I'm in the warp world. So I can go there. Maybe there. I can go here. Let's go here. 
<laughs> hey, King Leopard. I'm playing a game called Alien Logic, obviously. I have no clue what I'm doing. But I'm doing it. I mean, I do have some clue. I'm supposed to save humans from the... the Shantha. You're, you're trampling my crops. Oh, it's a bear man. Hi, bear man. Sorry. Alright, do I just sit and wait for the text? Yeah, I'll just wait. Um, where am I? You're in the outskirts of Ardoth, in the country of Burdoth. Specifically, you're standing in the middle of my vegetable field. Uh... What are you? I'm a farmer, what does it look like? It looks like you're a bear man. You're not a human. A brilliant observation. <laughs> I'm a bronth. <laughs> However, most of the inhabitants of Bird are Brood Broodoth are something. I'm a Im immigrant from Dobra. I, I miss the race of people. This conversation still go kind of fast. To the east, across the uh, straits, a trip only takes a day or two by boat. Uh, how long have you lived here? Almost ten years. I supply the Dar Sage with a two or only two or more good crops. Uh, it's like a Dren? What's a Dren? A Dren is a full citizen of Ardoth. Oh. To be happy, one must be a Dren. That's what the officials told me when I got off the boat. Oh, so he's gonna become a Dren soon? Are you working to be a Dren? Or... That's good. What, what's the Dar Sage? You sound like me, just when I left my village, um, left my village of nowhere. The, the Har, the Har Sage are the ruling governments. Here. How did I get here? <laughs> well, from my vantage point, it looks like you came down that path that all those Thrill used to get to their warp. Tell me about Ardoth. Ardoth is the capital of uh, uh, Burdoth. It is the largest capital and most cosmopolitan city on all of Jerun. There is a saying that all roads lead to Ardoth. Unfortunately, one of those roads leads right through my dur or drulig plants. What's uh, what's dur durlig? Uh, largest actual uh, agricultural product of uh, Brudoth. It contains all the necessary nutrients to sustain human life. Also, extremely susceptible to kekel and infestation with uh, kishal rot, so it must be very carefully nurtured and harvested. Too many people come through the warp. Partic that particular warp appeared suddenly about eight years ago. Since then, my primary since then has become the primary route to Tan Ikrid. I'm convinced that every thrittle born on Tan Ikrid has traipsed through my plants at least once in their lifetime. All right, see you later, King Leopard. Nice to drop up for you to drop by. If there's so much traffic, why don't you move your plants? I tried, but every time I move the plants, some stray root gets left behind and takes hold again. If I simply abandon the field during... Uh, the, the Durlig will get Gishal rots, which will quickly infect the rest of my fields and ruin my entire crop. I have no choice but to care for the patch and allow it to be trampled. Well, that's the problem with monocultures. I think you're having an issue with monocultures. You need to have more than one type of plants, you know, expand and diversify. I, I, I need to get going, but I promise I'll be more careful to get crops next time. Thank you. Okay. Well, we talked to a bear man. Let's get out of this guy's field so he doesn't go... So he doesn't murder me with bear rage. <laughs> he decides to murder you. With, he decides to go into bear rage and murder you. I mean, a bear man. Uh, the bears. Bears are rough enough to begin with. So, is this like monsters? Do I want to go to those and find out? This looks like a city. Let's go to that and find out. Yeah, it definitely is a city. Okay. Wait, what do I have off? Welcome to Ardoth, my friend. I'm Sergeant Sprotland. I watch the gate and keep a record of every anyone who enters and leaves or leaves. Now, what can I do for you today? <laughs> Quite the mustache on this guy. He looks happy. I'm an important quest to save my village from the evil hands of the Red Shantha. Can you help me? It depends on what help is. I know a lot about Ardoth. 
I've traveled a bit. Come by from time to time and I'll help you with your quest all I can. Oh, well this guy's nice. You can see he's well decorated too. Uh, tell me about Ardoth. Greatest city yet on Jeroon. What would you like to know? Uh, what's a good place to hang out? The Shambo Shenter, my friend. CD rundown dive filled with risper hums and filth from all over Jeroon. You'll find it down at the corner of the Vich, Vit, Vich and Crystal or something. Don't don't plan on weaving any balls of fire down there though. They paid a lot of money to drain that to get that they got a draining field installed. Okay. Um, the history. Yeah, this this game is a little bit confusing. Oh, a history buff. You're an interesting fella. I'm an expert on Ardoth's early history from time to time the er the first refugees to the Bonnet era. Ardoth was originally settled by human refugees from the war with the Shanthas 3,500 years ago. They found out this is place. It was the only place that Shanthas wouldn't attack. So over time, more and more humans gravitated here. Now Ardoth's got more inhabitant, more than a quarter million inhabitants. All right. Don't tell me more. That's 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 good. That's good enough. Now what can I do for you today? Can I get inside? Well, son, I'd be happy to let you enter. But first, I need to learn your name from a ledger. It's Tegan. If I understand something, share it with us. And I will. Providing you behave yourself, you are now welcome to enter the city. I'd like to enter. Just one word of warning. Tell this to all newcomers. Don't upset the core Corustin and steer clear of the docks. It's uh or I missed that word, but the Cora Corustin don't upset the Don't upset the people. Alright. We're in the city now. Uh, basically, I'm trying to sh save humanity that has been the people of my village that have been kidnapped. We have to do we have to kill the Red Shantha. There's this red dude, and he's a bad guy. There's a red dude who's a bad guy. We got to kill the red dude. Um, I could go explore some uh, ruins and fight some monsters. I think. Leave me shrouded in peace. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, wait. Saimasa, do you remember me? You saved me from the Red Shantha. Oh, it's it's him? Wow. You're the Hooman I helped escape from the village of Jordis? I spared you imprisonment and death. Now is the time that I must remain here for eternity because of you. Go away. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I need to talk to you, though. Although I have an eternity of time and nowhere to go, please don't make any of the passing of my time any more worse than it already is. Is there anything I can do to help you? There is no way you can help me. P please, let me wither and die in this miserable place. What happened? What? Alright, you know what, I'm just gonna leave him alone. Good. In my dark memory, thoughts of you are utter blackness. Well, that's dark. Yeesh. The guy who saved my life from the red, sh the red dude is now paying for it. There's nothing I can do to help him. Why is that exact? I'm still a little bit. I'm a little bit confused on that one. Hello, traveler. Do you seek my services? Uh, what are you offering? I am a healer. I offer first aid, medication, and if necessary, surgery to anyone in need. I don't even need to use a scalpel, I just get in there with my claws. Surgery. Uh, why are you a healer? No, I'm not gonna say that. The last thing I need is a giant bear operating on me. I don't know, he might be good. Um, <laughs> uh, let's not insult him. <laughs> or he might... Let's not insult the, the, the bear surgeon, lest, lest we get unnecessary surgery. I can do cosmetic surgery on you if you like. Alright, so there's a medic in case we uh, get injured. 
Well, actually, now that we know where a medic is, I might be inclined to do a little bit of combat. I pay out bounty for dead Beager, Scragger, and Pibber. Oh, sort of a lizard man. Do you have anything for me today? Uh, nope. Got nothing for you. Okay. You go now. Yes, I, I go now. I could I could listen to a bunch of stories when you kill the little creatures, bring them back here. Okay, so we got a whole economy here. We got you you go out, you fight monsters, you get injured, you get medicated by a bear. Then you get you 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 turn in the monsters you kill, and you can pay you turn in the monsters you can kill and you can pay for the bears, wash, rinse, repeat. Um uh, I I'm getting a vibe. I'm getting a you know, of an economy kind of vibe here. And I like it. Yeah, I think I need to turn up the... I might need to turn up the cycles just slightly. Let's, let's increase, let's give this game a few... A few extra cycles, like 7,000 cycles. Uh, what is a Ramian doing in Ardoth? A Ramian. It, uh, it, I am not your concern. Uh, I should report you to the Dara Sage? Ram, or Ramian are forbidden by Beyond the Docks? I'm not, I'm not a tattle. Well, who are you? My name is Crosscock. I am a merchant. Uh, what do you trade? Agricultural products. Uh, you appear to buy them. You will keep your voice quiet. You are correct. I purchased the product that you mentioned. The price is 15 gem, gem links per unit. Oh, okay. So I could I could buy something from him. You will leave now. I don't know. Don't know why I'd want that particular agro. agro that, it's like, you know, let's go kill monsters. Let's go kill monsters. That'll be far more entertaining at this point. We can talk to people later. Now I am monster. I kill. Yeah, the game feels a little bit better. I'm gonna feed this game just a little bit. Yeah, eight thousand cycles. Just a, just a few more cycles. I don't care if the game's going too fast in combat. I'm getting out of here. Let's blow this pop stand. Okay, so are you guys monsters? Can I kill you guys? I want to kill these guys. And what are these meters? Like... Yep, monsters. Okay. Hey, little guy. Hopefully combat's not blindingly fast. Well, that seems about right. Get off of me. Get off of me. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna get... <laughs> this isn't looking good right now. Open fire, dammit! Han Solo's getting bitten in the crotch. Okay, is there something I do about this besides sit there and just freak out? The scragger is scragging my crotch. Can I... Is it dead? What's going on? Did I use a shield? Can I do, can I do something about this other than just sit there looking surprised? Well, this is the great gameplay that this game offers. My guy is permanently freaked out. Come on, Scraggers. Can I shoot? Boy, was I missing out when I was a kid, not getting this. There we go, finally I got... Finally I got him off my... Okay. Is there something... Yeah, there, there we go. There's something I can do. I move, I move. I hit the keys. Just shoot. Shoot for your life. You're getting scragged. I'm, I'm gonna need bear surgery after this. Right, get away from me, you. Get away. That was very awkward. That was very awkward. I was stuck for the longest time, just, uh... Looking weird. Okay, so can I, uh... Can I get stuff off of you? Biotech. Can I, like, loot? How do you loot? Aha! You have picked up a scragger. There we go. Then I will sell you... For more gem links. And then I will get bear surgery. And it will feel great. So can I use shield? How do I get shield on? Shield. That's not shield. I need to look... You know what? I need to look up the controls. The controls are somewhere. I need to look up those controls. This is one of those games where they, uh... I don't tell you the controls. Crotch bite. I'm gonna save this save as crotch bite. And yeah, let me uh, let me look up the controls real quick. Just 
just so I have them because I feel like the controls are going to be really confusing. Like the default controls because I don't think they let you uh, let you like change them. Well, this isn't telling me the controls. Okay, I thought I could look it up pretty quickly, but... Uh, I know I've got the manual for this game somewhere, so... <laughs> maybe I can look up the controls there. We'll just figure it out as we go. Alright, so... Um, oh, I got a few scraggers. I think there was a way to... Wait. Game will now be saved. Alright. Yeah, I think I... No, don't abandon the game. No, no. Alright. Well, we saved recently. We're cool. But, yeah. Space bar to go into combat mode. What else? I thought there was a few other interesting controls I could do. Okay, well, you know what? Rather than fumbling about with controls, we'll just learn controls as we need them. I killed... I killed the one monster in this area. A bunch of scraggers. Let's see if we can kill a few more before I go to the bear doctor. But yeah, there's a couple meters. There's a couple meters. One has like a... a plant looking symbol on it. There's clearly a lot going on here. What's this? It looks like a plant. The tractor detects something underground. Oh. Like there was something like a... Like a quark thing. Like I read in the manual, I remember a long time ago when I couldn't get this game working, like that there was like a quark cut- oh, 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 hey. There's a thing called like a quark cutter. And you could like, uh, I don't know, it was like some sort of thing where you get them out from underground and then try to process them in a weird way. A beager. Well, I don't know about that, but we'll kill a few beagers, they don't sound so bad. We know that people pay money for those suckers. Okay, so right now this... Ooh! Hey there. Seems pretty simple. You just go around blasting things with your balls. And take my balls and like it. I've got a pair of balls that I throw around. I kill things with my balls. That's... That's what I do. In an alien world. One man has balls. Of energy. Detects something underground. Okay, so yeah, those are like, uh... Those are resources I can get if I had a thing to gather those resources. But I can't right now. Or what is this? Is this... I guess... I think Shield 1 is the, um... The def my cur current armor. It's like, it's not a spell I can use. Uh... A fire mage? Not exactly. I mean, you're a mage of sorts, but uh, it was like um, it was like this alien magic. What they call it? It's like uh, I don't know, like weaving something that started with an L. Essentially, you're a wizard, though. Essentially, you're a wizard. I'll I'll put it that way. Not not specifically with fire. It's not specifically a fire thing, but you're definitely a mage. I would say. But it's a weird, it's a weird combination of science and magic. It's, it's, it's like alien magic. Like, I forget what they called it, like... Since this game is all about aliens. So, it's like alien magic in the future. Doesn't make a lot of sense. It still doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but, uh... I'm getting, I'm gonna get some money. And, uh... We're gonna see what we can use that on. Okay, so I killed some things. You know, you got to see what combat's like. I was, I was, I was wanting to do some combat. Ah, and there's still some nature right there. Whatever the heck that means. Like nat natural things I can get. Okay, back again so soon. Yes, I would like to do some business. Alien technology. Yes, that's that. That's a would be a more accurate description. Yes. Yeah, there was these. There was these aliens that could use magic, and uh, one of them saved me. 
And, uh, the Red Shantha is like one of those aliens that, uh, wasn't so nice. But they were like the... There was one alien that there was a lot of... The Shanthas, there was a lot of them on this world, and they kind of died like Native Americans. Alright. You pay a bounty? Good. You pay a bounty for exactly what I've been killing. I've got some Scragger to sell you. Each Scragger is seven gem links each. I've got three. Is that okay? I would say so, yes. Good. I've taken all your Scragger. Here's your money. Anything else? Yeah, I got some bigger. Dead bigger or three gem links each. That is that okay? That's not a lot. Honestly, that's not a lot. I was I was hoping they'd be worth more. Good. I've taken all your beaker. Maybe I could have haggled. Could I have haggled? Actually, maybe I could have haggled. I probably should have haggled. I forgot to haggle. This guy doesn't want to haggle. All right. Mm, nice place you got here. I slaved away to gain my own shop. I sleep in the back. <laughs> I smash scurrying creatures that wander nearby. I sell them all. To, I sell them to myself for a profit. Alright. Yeah, I bet you have to be really smart to run a business. Smart? Yes. I'm really smart to run this shop. Krugar always tries to cut the prices. I smash them when they do that. <laughs> I guess we're going all the way. I don't... You don't really want to talk about me, do you? Uh, I'm interested in you, buddy. <laughs> in your weird lizard ways. Although, I was the runt of the litter. Weighing only three stone. Anyone will talk a lot in this game. I was showered with a... I, I showed an early fascination with smashing things. My family put me in charge of dropping boulders on Meager. I later moved up to Scragger. And Mandare. And Mandare. Uh, the fascinating. Yes. And I'm smart. I made many deals to end up with my own hut. Now I decide when I crush and what I crush. Well, thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Alright. Nothing right now. Okay. You go. When you kill little creatures, you come back. Yes, okay. You have to give me the whole spiel every time. Why did I talk to him so much? I leave myself. I walk away wondering. Oh, wolf dude. Looks like fresh. Human, fresh from the wilds. Where have you been traveling? Uh, the home of the Thrill. And are the beagers still spawning on that island? Uh, there's still a few. Good. I need to be, make a trip out there. And where have you been? I'm a beaster. I capture wild creatures for bounties and trophies. I was thinking that was his race. Uh, and the gladiatorial arenas of Sipolis and, and where? You must be pretty familiar with wildlife. I, yep, I'm familiar. Intimately familiar. I've trapped Pibber, Netted Beaker, Snag Scragger, and Wrestled Mandare. I've done it all. And what can you tell me? Anything. Uh, what mean, ferocious creature do you want to hear about today? Um, yeah, the Mandare seem pretty big, bloated monsters is what they are. Haven't met them yet. Your biggest specimens can weigh over a thousand pounds. They look slow, but when they see food, they sure can move. When you see deep, smooth gouges in the ground, you know some poor fool meant his hands in the gullet of a mandare. Beasters like myself take special care to cope and cut open a mandare's stomach when we've killed it. Because they often swallow valuables along with their victims. And the, uh... Koro... or Korondon? One word. Death machine. <laughs> That's two words. Unless you have some serious weapons. Or an enormous death wish. Stay out of their path. I've seen them take out men bigger than you in a second. 
if one of your talons, set one of your talons, the, the, the second, what, oh yeah, one talon just takes off your legs, the other one, the, the third snaps down on your head, it's all over. Okay, that's all I'd like to know. Good luck. It's a jungle out there. Okay, so gotta watch out for those death machines. The Korondon. Welcome to uh, Isogen Ferry Building. Or Is Esogen Ferry Building. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna take the ferry today. Certainly. Come see us again. Okay, so that's the ferry building. That that bear didn't look like a ferry, but uh, looks can be deceiving. That's a bad joke. All right, this is the bar. Were there were there more people in the bar that I could talk to besides the first dude? Can I like, walk past you? Oh, now there's a wolf dude here. Huh? It changes. Interesting. I think I thought it'd be the same patron. All right, wolf dude. What happened to your clothing? I guess clothing's optional for you guys. Jarrell? Jarrell Hoppix? I haven't seen you for years. How are the kids? Uh, hey, how are you, buddy? <laughs> Just fine. How are you long are you gonna be in the town? Oh, not long. Business trip. You know me. With the kids. Really? Do you still own that fishing boat? Fishing boat? Yeah. Yeah, I still got it. Glad to hear it. That was a fine boat. Yeah, she sure has served me well all these years. So, how's your wife? Jarrell? Don't you remember? She died. Oh. You were at her funeral. Oh. Yeah, I meant how was she... How was she doing in the grave? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> well, I should get going. Me too. It's been nice talking with you again, Nestel. Nestor. <laughs> yeah, it was fun for me too. <laughs> okay. Well, that was kind of funny. Pretending to be someone else. Yeah, I'm that other guy. But yeah, let's try to go to the, some of those coordinates. Is there anything I'd buy? Hello, my fine friend. Hello, my horned, noseless dude friend. As well. I sell Rikos here. Nothing more. Just, uh, a Rikos. If you're looking for a biotech buddy, this is the place to come. You won't find more skilled, energetic, uh, Rikos. Rikos? He, uh, uh, now, before we discuss things, let's take a look at your finances and see what we're dealing with here. Okay. We can work with 88 gem links. What can I interest you in? I have 88? Wow. Uh, so... Can't I grow on my own? Rikos? Sure, you can. But you have to get them... You have to get a cork and a cutting kit and find an incupod, and then there's margin for error. Why go to all the trouble when you can buy a perfectly good Rico? A Reco. Brand new and pre-grown. I have no idea what you're talking about. Right here and now. Uh, what the heck is a Reco? A Recos. Ricos. Uh, what do they have? What do you have? Well, not sure if I have them all on hand right now. Try to keep four species in stock. First, there's the digger. Economical and reliable. But if you're looking to spend a little bit more, there's the miner. For the serious crystal hunter, or uh, the miners, the, or the, the something else hunter, he can dig areas the average digger couldn't penetrate. Okay, so there are living things that can... What if the crystal you're hunting isn't your thing, or crystal hunting isn't your thing? What if you face every danger with the potential for injury right around the corner? You need a rejuvenator. He's great for fixing all those little cuts and bruises. And if you're risking your life and limb on a daily basis, 
A surgeon is a good investment. He can fix any injury, no matter how severe. Are they like one use things, or can you use them multiple times? Uh, how much they. Like, I'd like to buy one. Wonderful! Let me show you what I have in stock right now. Here's what I have today. Reco stickers for 84. Wait. 84 each. That's exactly how much I have, right? Are you like one of those guys that adjusts his prices based on how much money I have? Because. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm not sure I want to make such a large investment quite yet. Ah, Jody's Crystal Palace. I am the proprietor Chody, this is my place. We offer the finest crystals, shipped directly from the richest mines in Temet something. Let's see what you have to work with. 88 gym links on the table. They always want to look at... You know, I think it's kind of worrisome when... I wouldn't let a merchant just look at... Let me see what's in your wallet. Let me see exactly how much money you have. Tell me... You know, I wouldn't feel comfortable with that, because I feel like... I feel like he's kind of adjusting the prices based on my wallets. <laughs> Weave crystals for 23 gem links each. Power crystals for 22. I don't know what they do. I don't want to buy any crystals yet. I know power crystals power things. Actually, I do know power crystals power things. Like objects. I got five of them. Can you tell me about the crystals? Weave crystals and power crystals. Uh, it'll... You'll buy crystals. Hold them on reserve for a few select customers. I'm able to offer them to the general public. Okay. Describe the properties. Listen here. I'm a businessman, not a connoisseur. I have very I have a very professional clientele. Daisha weavers mostly. They know what they want and I deliver it. Very simple. Guess I'll be going now. See you soon. Alright, so maybe I need weaver crystals for more magic? I might need a weaver crystal at some point. I don't freaking know. I'm confused. Hello, Inquisitor. Do you wish to uh, purchase... Um, something? As I know the name of my seven daughters. Let's take a look, shall we? Ah, very nice. 88 gym links on the table. Once again, how can I help you? Uh, what are lima limolates? What are they? Limolates are roots found in the ground with amazing properties. And there are... There's a limitate, uh, limolate that heals you, one that makes you Isho invisible. Great for avoiding creatures that see invisible, or see Isho, and one that makes you taste bad as Gragger, and eliminate that makes your flesh poisonous. Then there's Dodge Meat, which thrives under in underground seams, and is considered a regional delicacy, and here Droth is quite expensive. Lastly, there's a Shimra, which drives the so and so to war, unfortunately. For business, the Shimra trade is a capital crime, because it drives a certain race to war. I carry all limolates except for the Shimra. I rarely have them uh, them all in the stock at the same time. Okay. Alright. I want to get away from you. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> oh. Just the way he said it. The way I said it and the way he said it. Alright, what, what's your deal? Ah, you're a wolf man. Hello, nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you too, wolf dude. Yes. It is nice to meet you. Uh, could you direct me to the Shambo Shanter? Yes. It is nice to meet you. <laughs> um... <laughs> Step aside, I'm in a hurry. Yes! Get out of the way. Yes! Get out of the way. Uh... 
Move? Move, yes. Get out of the way. Okay, move over here now. Stay. Yes, stay. Goodbye. This game does have a bit of a sense of humor with the people. I can see a bit of a sense of humor with them talking about killing you. I'm Daklish, and you're out of here. I'm Daklish, and you're out of here. Leave, or I'll have my uh, courts and guard just. I'm just that kind of guy. O okay, I'll leave. Bye. Well, what a nice guy he is. Red eyes and everything. Hmm. So I could get like a, a thing. Welcome to Ik. or Iku. or Iknu. -ku or Inku Huts. Welcome to Inku Huts. My name is Thodi, and I am the owner and executive chief of Chief and Primary Stockholder of the General and General Manager of Inku Hut. We specialize in purchase and sale of biotech corks, pre cut, and raw. You appear to be interested in doing business. Let's take a look at your financial resources. AEHM links all together. Certainly not a bad start. What can I help you with today? What happened to your nose? I mean, uh, um, what, what are corks? What, what, what are corks? We, three types. Pink, red, and purple. In addition, we sell pre-cut corks. Already genetically co uh, coded to create a particular, a particular reco. Just remember that these pre-cut corks have been heavily engineered. So you should avoid placing them in green incupods. The results could be hazardous. I have no idea what you're talking about with incupods. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I find corks in the wild? Yes! You can find them growing underground in many incupod patches. If you happen to dig some up, bring them back here and I'll pay top gem link for them. Okay. Thank you for shopping at Incubot. How do I how do I cut the corks and dig the corks corks for cash? Do I want cash? Hello there. Are you here to learn the way that weave dacias? I don't know. I'm new. Uh, you entered my kerning bay school to learn to control the isho. That's what we do. We're isho weavers. We weave the dacia. That's the kind of wizards we are. <laughs> We're weavers. Um, I can help you in ways you never imagined. Oh, kinky. I mean, uh, yes. I'll take you to somewhere you never imagined. A world of infinite color. Twisting, stretching, weaving across the sky. Not exactly my type, but, you know, it's been a long time. Why should I want to go there? When I take you to the weaving world, you'll find abilities there for the taking. New orbs of Isho you can weave. Besides, your power is new and fresh. Ready to be explored. Are you ready? Uh, um... Will it hurt? <laughs> Will it hurt? You have no sense of adventure. <laughs> I'm wasting my time with you. O okay, okay, I'll go. That's more like it. <laughs> now just relax. You'll see four orbs. Expend your Isho to draw one of them to the terminus in the center of the weaving world. When you succeed, the orb power of the orb will be yours. Okay. I'll take, uh... Take the red one? Wait, what? Oh, I'm placing things? Wait, what? I'm, I'm placing things. And it's drawing things. I want the red one. Give me the red one. It looks like a fireball that I can shoot things with. Or maybe the blue one? Yeah, I'm like drawing it closer. Maybe I want the blue one, though. That looks like a shield. A fireball or a shield or... I want this fireball looking one. It'll probably help me zap some critters. Alright, come on. Come to the center. I don't want the green one. I want you. Is that how it works? Yeah, it's just like coming towards the thing. This is weird. This is weird. This whole game is weird. Alright, come on. Follow the path. Good fireball, yes. Are you in the center? Yay! Great! More, please. Not so fast. I'm 
not running a charity here. Next time it'll cost you five more gem links to go to the weaving world. All you have to do is provide your own weave crystals. I drained 29 of my own crystals helping you. Everyone gets the, for the uh, gets me free for the first time, but after that they have to pay for my services. Oh, those were weaving crystals I was sitting down. Okay. Ah, okay, and those weaving crystals aren't cheap. So that's how you get new spells. What did I learn? You learned Fire Touch. Use it against anything from Beaker to Scragger or anything that gets too close for comfort. Alright. Um, why do I have to use... I, I think I know these the answers to these. You can only learn Daisha by leading it to the Terminus. Daisha's are attracted to the Isho, released by a weaving crystal in the weaving world. The attraction of the Daisha's requires a large expenditure of the Isho. You'll need lots of crystals. Just knowing how and when to use weave crystals takes patience. It'll be a while before you're as skilled, highly skilled as me. Oh, well, look at you. All right. Can you take me back to the weaving world now? I'm not in the mood now. Can I go? I want the option where I can leave. Where's the leave option? Try again later. Thank you for teaching me magic, lady. Got new spell. So I think I could have gotten an improved shield, which might have been nice. I might have... I, maybe I should have gone for the blue shield. But I... You know, I wanted the fireball. The fireball looked cool. Hey there, Mr. Funk Soldier. It's going pretty good. Exploring the alien world and... I don't know, getting magic. Apparently this... Lady who's prettier than the last one, I would say. Oh, wait, was, is this the lady from the cover arts? I think this might be the lady from the color arts. Uh, Asalia. Asalia Dendren? What are you doing here? I live in Ardoff. And for the information, and for the information, Tegan, it's now, uh, Kashita. Oh, uh, Kashita? I discovered a tub of jelly in the east true jungle lands that turned out to be a Trojillian hexafluorine that for the Dar Sage bestowed me with the type for that you were bestowed with the power Kathisha and now as a pillar of the community and part of the legislator. They've they're enamored with you here for that type of the thing. Not like the old days in the village, eh? All after all that name calling. Have you heard about the village? I heard a rumor that everyone was gone. And that the Shanthas came and killed everyone. Didn't know what to think. But that was several years ago. And it looks... And you look so young. We've spent four years apart. And you look my age. I was found in a keeper rod. I've been in suspension for four years. <laughs> yes, indeed I am. You mean the rumors were true? Did others survive? What happened? Uh, Shanthos came to Jordis. They captured everyone and took them away in Keeper Rods. How did you escape? A friendly Shantha separated me from my Keeper Rod. Um, separated my Keeper Rod from the others. I was released at the Mountain Crown just recently. That's terrible. What are you going to do? I'm uh, thinking about taking up shop and selling Beager skins. I'm trying to find out where the Keeper Rods are. You'll be traveling everywhere, won't you? Yeah, I'll be going through the warp world to travel all over Jorun. Probably. It's an awful lot of work. You'll need you need some help. I agree. You need some biotech buddies. What in blazes are biotech buddies? They're Rekos, Tegan. Very obedient, very helpful, and very easy to grow in incupods. And what are incupods? They're all the craze now! <laughs> We've discovered how to cut corks and place them in incupods and bioengineer creatures. I think you should talk to good my fr good friend Daklish. He owes me a big favor. Uh, tell him I sent you, and then I want to give you a cork cutting kit. Yay! I met that guy, Daklish. He's a toad. A toad? Well, Tegan, he and I are very good friends. <laughs> you just repeat what I told you. And I'm sure he will help. He can be a little surly to some at sometimes, but he's got a soft spot for me. Go see him. I'll look forward to seeing you later. 
by. Okay, nice. Quark cutting ket, you say. For cutting the quarks. Which is apparently something you do after you dig them up in the wild so you can get money. Alright. Daklish? Wait, you're not Daklish. I'm sorry. This is Chody's Crystal Palace. Don't look at my money. You give. Don't, don't look at my gem links. You get out of here with your, your noseless face. I'll be going now. Yeah. No. Yes, no. Let's go. Not in there. I just wanted to, I just wanted to use the path thing. This is the path. Damn it. Shut up, you. Shut up your face. Yes, I've got 88 gem links. It's not a bad start. Can you shut your hole? Shut your face. Right. To Daklish. Nowhere else to Daklish. This is trying to pass you again. Leave or my court or chorus uh guard will put his fist so far up you. Wait! Uh Kashita sent me. She said you told me. What? Kashita? Uh Asilia. Kashita Asilia. She's she's my friend. Oh really? And what does Ashita have to say? Or what does Asalia uh, or <laughs> Asalia say? She said you owe her a favor, a big favor. So, she said she wants you to help me. Oh, how is that? How am I supposed to help you? She said you could get me a cork cutting kit. What? Forget it. Tell her she can have stycoid gene, her stycoid gene plates back. Tell her it's all over. What? Does this mean I don't get the kit? It means I'm pissed. It means you get nothing. And especially it means... Get. Out. I thought I was gonna get a free cork cutting kit. That guy is a jerk. <laughs> Hello again, the Alatio. Or... Alate... Or... The Alato. Late... Alatio, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. Apparently my guys get don't get stuck. Damn it, not this guy again. My guy was stuck. I was I clicked I clicked where I was going. My my guy curse the pathing on this game. All right, I'm leaving. I'm not shopping here. Just trying to get around the city. Pathing of this game was just a bit better. I wouldn't be going into places I don't want to. Can I go out there? I guess I can probably leave the southern end of the city. Alright. And of course, from Russia, again. Yes. Have I... Have I seen Daklish? Yes! I saw him, he wouldn't help me. What? He said he's pissed, and he wouldn't give me a cork cutting kit. I'll take care of that. You go back there, and get that kit. I'll take care of Mr. Daklish Lacour. Lacour. Okay, you're just sending me back and forth. You get back there and get that kit. All right, if you say so. If you say so, pretty lady, I'll go back to the place. Back and forth. All right, Daklish. Please be reasonable this time. Ah, yes, Tegan. It is Tegan, isn't it? Yes, Tegan. Yes, I'm Tegan. Boy, you sure got friendly. I'm sorry for intimidating you with my core arrest and guard. I don't know I don't know what came over me. Anyhow. I have a surprise for you. It's a gift. Your very own cork cutting kit. <laughs> a present for me? Yes, you. <laughs> now take it and get out. You're just kissing up. Maybe. Listen. Just take the kit and leave, okay? Thanks. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Bye. Okay, so I have a quirk cutting kit, whatever the frick that is. It's for cutting quirks. You can certainly cut quirks with it. Whatever those are. And you can take those up on the, out of the ground. Um, but I think, do I need like a quirk digger or something? Do I need like a digger? I think I might need a digger. 
Hey you. Salutations. Uh, what do you want? That is an interesting question. Mm, what do I want? Rather than answer that question at this particular time, I will ask you a question. What do you want? I want to rescue my village for from from the Red Shantha. Well, that is certainly a colossal thing you want. Unfortunately, I do not have any information about your village. Nor am I a close personal friend with this Red Shantha fellow. So I don't believe that I will be able to help you fulfill your desire. However, I'm sure there must be something else you want. Uh, a big gun. We thrill our peace-loving members of a global community. And do not procure weapons. However, if you would like to improve your dacias, in order to transform yourself into a more worthy adversary, you should visit Sharalia, Sharalia, whatever, her Kerning Bay is just around the corner. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I, I was already there. Alright, uh, a beer? No, you'll tell me to, yeah, I think he's just a guidepost. Okay, fine, no reason to talk to you. Unfortunately, your statement is grammatically flawed. You accidentally misstated the object before the sentence. It is my duty and function as a query to stand by this corner and answer the questions of passers-by. You should have said what I want. I want to go away. A succinct, uh, cogent statement. Very well put. I appreciate the opportunity to share my time with you. Enjoy your day. Oh, that's great, you weird human eye. Yeah, it's weird how they have human eyes. Should I bother talking to this dude, or should I just get, uh, get on with my life? Ah, let's be thorough about this. Oh, cat dude. Uh, pretty tough showing up in this part of town. Don't you think? Oh, um... <laughs> uh, I go when I, where I want. You got a problem with that? Yeah. Time for you to die. Uh-oh! Oh, crap! You don't say! Catman! Catman do! Uh-oh. Uh, can I shoot? Shoot! I feel like I should have saved the game recently. Can I just run away? Run! Run! Okay. Yeesh! That cat man meant business, and I'm and I'm currently wounded. Hey, bear doctor? I'm gonna go to the bear doctor and see how much he, uh, he charges for bear medical services. Mr. Bear Doctor, a cat man was mean to me. Hello, traveler. Do you seek my services? Yeah, yeah, cat man, scratch me. I can offer you first aid, medication, or surgery. First aid only costs 10 gen links and will heal all of your minor wounds. Medication is considerably more expensive at 50 gen links, but it will heal in your moderate wounds. Unfortunately, I lack the time or materials. Surgery is expensive, costing 350 gem links. However, surgery, surgery will heal your wounds no matter how serious. Give me the first day, certainly. I'll just take a minute. There, I'm finished now. Be careful out there. Alright, well I received some bear first aid. I'm not sure, not sure how effective that was. But, uh... Apparently getting your health back is more of an ordeal than I thought. In this game. Alright, so can I like, cut some quirks? Save the game, yes. That's probably a good idea. That's probably a good idea, considering I said I hadn't saved in a while. Alright, can I save out here? I know I can save here. Save! Save game. It would be very sad if I died at this point. <laughs> um, angry cat man. Alright, so... Like, uh... Crystals. Crystal, power crystals. Yeah, I know about that. Biotech. Laser scalpel. Can be only be used next to an incupod. Three pink corks. Can only be used next to an incupod. Okay. So I got... There's three pink corks. And a laser scalpel for cutting corks. I'm detecting something underground. My health looks perfect. That bear really did the trick. There's something underground. I guess I need to dig it up using one of those miners. 
that I don't have right now. Okay, so we're, we're, we'll deal with this this nonsense later. Okay, yeah, your, your tracker detects something underground. Nothing I can do about that now until I get one of those digging, digging things, so. Let's get on with our lives. Okay, we need to go to those coordinates that the aliens told us about earlier. What's this? Oh, I can flip that on and uh, zoom in. I don't have to be in a place. Okay. Uh, 200, 173. 211, 167. Uh, 212. Okay. Let's see, so I wonder which one I'm closest by. So, let's try to go to 200. Wait, oh, I'm, I'm pretty far off, though. If I'm trying to go to the 200 location, I'm, having, I'm gonna have to travel quite a distance. I was, I was closer to some of those others. Okay, 211 or 212. And 167 and one. It's 167 and 179. Those are the ones I'm close to. Two eleven and two twelve. Two eleven one sixty seven. That's like that's basically two twelve. Wait, wait, what happened to two eleven? That's I, I think this is basically this this place, right? Are we talking about this place? I think they were talking about this place. It looks like they're talking about this place. Okay. And I'm thinking, yep, that's the thing. Is that a hole? All right. What are, what are we doing here? Oh, okay. It's like a. Looks like a staircase. Can I go down this? Oh, oh, an elevator. Oh, nifty. Can I get on the elevator? Let me on elevator. Don't don't fall, fall down. Can I get on the elevator? Is there a way I can jump? I feel like there's a way to jump. Ah, fire touch. Or shield. Oh, okay, so I'm putting things on, on that slot? Okay. Shield, fire touch. Wait, I can switch slots? Okay, for some reason I can't overwrite the power orbs, but I can overwrite the... Okay, fireball? How do, how do I do the fire touch? How fire touch I do? I... I'm quite confused about the controls, but I, I think there might be a way to jump. Is there a way to jump? Is there a way to jump there, Han Solo? Because I feel like walking... I think... I think... I think there might be a way to jump. I'm starting to feel like... There are some controls I do not know. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to fish out the, uh... The instruction booklet for this game. Oh, suddenly there's no more sound. Why is there no more sound? I killed the sound. I think the, I think I found the sound button. The sound effects button. And I disabled it. That's good. That's good. There we go. S for sounds. You can turn off the sounds with S. Good. Good to hear. Certainly found that. Okay, so there's some keys. Alt, shift... It would have been good if I looked this up beforehand. Usually, a lot of games nowadays, you can just, uh, you have the advantage of just being able to... Right, I gotta think if the movement's around the cursor keys, maybe. No? Or do you just walk off the edge? Just walk off, just go in there. You, clearly you're supposed to go in there. Do it, Han Solo man. Just go. Alright, come on. What's the deal? J for jump? Like, just get off? It really looks like I can go down there. If I just find the right key... It sure does that. Page up, page down. Yeah, the function keys. What about the function keys? Oftentimes games would hide things on the function keys. Okay, I just did... Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I clearly hit the wrong button there. <laughs> uh, anyways. Right. I've, I've got, like, different function keys right now. Strategy 10. What? Strategy 9? Strategy 8? What? Strategy 5? 
Oh, these are like different... Oh, these are different uh, spell sets. Okay, so there's different spell sets there. <laughs> Alright, good start. The arrow key switch between these. And I feel like I'm starting to get somewhere. But... Jumpy, jumpy jump. How to jump I do. I feel like this is pretty, a, pretty a, ba a pretty basic thing that I gotta figure out. Can't you just walk off it? Come on, buddy. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, hey! I f you have to be moving! You have to be moving and then you hit shift! You have to be moving and then you hit shift. You can't just hit shift. Ow! My legs! They hurt my legs because I fell. All right, well, it's a good... Um, Gal Imasti, outposts of the Ka -go Gobe. Fashioned in this place to draw energies from the Golunda, the strong and rich. Actually, how far away was I? How far away was I? The Catman save. I don't think I was too far away. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that again and not fall down the hole. Just because I don't want to be wounded. I don't think I was... Yeah, I was just over here. I just walk over there. Should be a cinch. Should be a cinch. Let's get back over there. Because uh, being wounded is expensive. <laughs> Alright, took me a long time. It looks like uh, it looks like new uh, sites show up from time to time, though. Is that right? I'm not sure. Anyway, so let's get in here. Let's get in here. Looks like we're going to have an interesting time. As long as I can go falling down the hole. We do have to jump. But, like, I can do a little jump, right? Just like a little jump. Yeah, I can do like a little jump. And then I can get on that ledge. Just wait for you to come back up. Oh no, I can do a little jump here without... You You can be not moving. Okay, well this is going to injure me again, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's, about, it's the same thing. You just it's Whatever, okay, we're going to go with it now. <laughs> Completely missed the ledge. <laughs> the ledge, okay. Draw energies. Let's just not, let's just not take falling damage anymore in the future. What are these? It's nothing. Can always get more bear first aid. Looks like we're going to be doing a lot of these. Crystal power. Oh. I put in a power crystal and I turn the power source back on to start up the elevator. Now I just got to use the elevator properly without breaking my legs. Hit. Yay, we did it. <laughs> elevator successfully used. It's amazing. Okay, I was going to say, don't tell me that's going to... What in the world am I doing? Don't just go sticking your hand in weird things, my friend. It looks like I'm in pain. Ah, uh, oh. A warp is added to the... No, okay. A warp is added to the warp world. Welcome back to the warp world. Okay, can I just go back where I was? Is this where I was? Uh, it's, I'm somewhere completely different. Okay. Uh, I wanted to... F fine. Fine, we're here now. Here we are. Is this where I was? This is a warp that's been added to the warp world. Well, you the heck with it. Here we are. I'm just gonna just slick around this place. I guess the game is saying you should go around here then. Yeah. Maybe you can break your legs. Break a leg. <laughs> break a leg, my friend. Alright, well these look like magic thingamies. Thingamies? Thingies. This is a city. Let's uh, Let's check out the city. More ruins, you say? Okay. Is this one of the places I'm supposed to go? No. That's where I'm going now, though. Alright. Elevator. Is there an elevator? Yep. Hit. Don't miss it. Don't Don't you miss it. <laughs> These elevators are hard to use. I don't know how... don't know how the aliens survive. So I'm guessing some of these ruins are going to have, like, monsters in them and stuff, right? I'm expecting that. What's this? That is a Shanthic mural. Okay, and a Shanthic artifact. Alright, I'll just grab that. Inconspicuous as it is. This is a Shanthic key. Alright. No Indiana Jones style boulders came my way at this point. Hmm. Alright then. A key and an artifact. Can I mess with them? Shanthic artifact. 
key, Shenthus Abbey. Alright, so I, I can see why they gave me the warp outs. Because there was an area where I could get down and I was would have trouble getting back up. Come back here, elevator. Damn it. I'm gonna jump like... I'm gonna be all angry and jump up and down. <laughs> Until you get back here. Let me on. Let me aboard. Yay, I did it. <laughs> Look at you, you're jumping. Alright. A little worried about combat here. Maybe I should save again. I'm gonna save again. Let's keep saving, yeah. Artifact. Elevator, go. Don't go away. Thank you. Ooh, a little bugaboos. Okay, so how do I use my fire touch? How do I use that sucker? Is it like shift? Oh, shift and right click. Ah, and that's how I do the shield. Which is what the, uh, and the enemy, that, that cat man was using shield whenever I shot him with my power orbs. Okay. There we go. So I can shield, and I've got like a mana bar down there. I see. There's my mana. I get it now. Fire touch. Did that work? Well, yes, but you bit me and, you bit me anyways, but I was on fire. Maybe I should just stick with shield. At least this will pay for my medicals. Alright, so I can put a power crystal in this sucker? But why do I want to? But why? What is this? Protecting things fail in this corrupted... The protecting things fail in this corrupted place named Shenis Abbey. We are the Kai Gobi and the builder of the shields. One remains that maintains the walls once... All right, our time here has passed. All right. Oh, okay. So I can use the key here. There we are. Don't know what the power conduit was. Oh, hey, freaking eyeball. Don't think you're cool. Yeah, I don't think you're cool. Oh, crap. Okay, uh, yeah, it's just a, that's a shield, shield. Shields up. Or I probably should shields up whenever he's shooting at me. Shields up. There we go. He put me in a bubble. That was weird. Alright, take that, you weird eye monster. You weird eye monster. What is this? That's a power crystal. Give it to me. Give me. Give me power crystal. Can I take power crystal? I want to take power crystal. I would like power crystal. Give me power crystal. Do I need to be looking at my crystals while I do it? Am I just not stepping in the right way? Did it die in an awkward place and I can't pick up the power crystal? Give me the power crystal. Hey! Cannot take it, Captain. I'm just gonna shoot the thing and hope it explodes. It's definitely there. Game. Give me the thing. That's all I want. There's a way to pick it up, right? Do a dance. I'm gonna do a dance. You know what? Forget that. Oh, shit. Okay. No, easy there. I feel like I'm gonna need that power crystal, though. I can always buy more, but that's, uh... It's annoying. It's annoying to lose out on a power crystal there. Ooh, slimy. I mean, you guys don't seem so bad. As long as I don't uh, just step in you. Yeah. 
Ah. Four crystals. Hopefully I can pick these ones up. Yes. Are these like weaving crystals? Weave crystals! Yes. Yes, they are. I like that. Another artifact. Another key. Another artifact. Hmm. Do -do 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 -do. So what would I be powering here and why would I want to do it? I don't know. It seems like there are more things to power than I have power crystals, so I feel like I should hold off. Though I am very curious. Hit. Will that other power crystal still be there? Nope. And even if it was, I wouldn't be able to pick it up anyway, so... Power crystal. The power source is now on. Okay. How does that help me? Oh, maybe... I don't think I should have bothered with that one. Uh... Can I use the key here then? Probably. I just could use the key here. Abby Green. Yeah. A key can only be used in a locked door. Well, is this not a locked door? Am I just not close enough? Hey, look at it. Look at it, you. Just look at it. Abby Green. Abby Green. I, is this not the locked door? Oh, it glowed. Oh. Um, is is this working for you? Is it like spider webs? Oh, okay, it's just spider webs. You just shoot the okay. And what is this Metroid? There's the. What did I just do there? Oh hey, hey there, buddy. Showed up behind me. If I shift and uh, shield, 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 shield. shield, shield. If I shift and right click out of combat mode, I can do it. I can do a warp thing. Is that like a quick pick up item or? I'm not sure what I just did there. There's uh, there's a lot I don't know. All right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a bit of a delay between my shots so that if you do use shoot shield, okay? Can I just go? No, oh, that doesn't pick up items. What's that do? Am I using up items doing that? Give me that. Power crystal, yes. Thank you. Okay, so that was an unexpected ambush, and I'm feeling quite yellow. I'm gonna need some bare medicals. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, even though the door was red, the green key was correct. Power crystal. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Another power source. Ah, that one powers that elevator. I will do that, because I'm not sure if there will be a way to get out like last time. Even though there was, at the bottom of the hole. Okay, you get back here, you elevator. You get back here. Boing! Hey, dude! How's it going? Those are one of those those Shanthic protectors that uh, might not be hostile, but might not appreciate the fact that I've been looting everything from the place he lives in. So, um, a right crystal. So in other words, he might not be hostile, but he probably is. But maybe not. I guess we'll find out. It's like, hey there, friends. What are you doing with all my people's artifacts there tucked under your arm? <laughs> oh, these? Uh, they're just, uh, you know, I'm just redecorating for you. That's all. Help, you know, I thought I would help the feng shui. Wasn't stealing them or nothing. Fudge. Did you just shove me or did I just jump wrong? Okay, good. I don't think it took too much damage, but I'm feeling yellow. I'm feeling yellow all over. This guy kind of does dress like Han Solo, though, don't... I mean, is it just me that's getting the Han Solo vibe from this guy? I like it, though. I like it. All right. Big jump. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you didn't block me. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, it's a shot, though. How's it going? You are a walker on guarded lands. Yeah, that's me. The energy... Of the source of the Isho has faded, but I protect what remains of what was once great. Uh, 
Your little red watchdogs couldn't stop me, neither can you. I, I just want to use a cell es Eshta. Please let me pass. You are the one that is disrupting the temple. Disrupting. Creating breaks. Creating weakness. Walls must be restored. Uh... Damn it! No, you're only giving me that choice. I am reluctant. But the lights must drain from your Isho bright. Oh god! Combat's on. Combat's on. Okay. Ooh, you're you're bouncing them back at me, are you? Okay. Whoa! This guy's ah fucking crap, crap. I'm okay. Okay. I thought I, I didn't. I use shield. I tried to use shield. I tried to use shield. I'm feeling a little bit restrained here at the moment. Well, he taught me a lesson. Or I think. Don't no, no, don't abandon. Just maybe this guy means business. This guy. These, these Shanthic people, they kind of know what they're. Okay. Right click to shield. It's simple. I don't know why I didn't do that in time, but you, you're gonna need your shield against this guy. Either that or I could just get up and give him the fire touch. Damn it, Han Solo. <laughs> get on the get on the thing. I like how I can just look this way and kind of rub. Do do do. Rubbing the walls. Oh, you said you rub your walls are weak. I'm gonna rub your walls. I'm rubbing the walls. <laughs> Disrupting the order of the place. How do you like that? I'm just gonna fight from this side where I'm not all up in this. Shield! 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 Oh, I don't have enough mana for shield. I'm generating my mana. I gotta get my shield up. Okay. There we go. My shield doesn't last long enough, does it? Ooh. And he reflected! He reflected! Ow! That's not good. Okay, I'm dealing him damage there. Okay, I've gotta watch out for his shielding. Yeah, fire at a low angle so that the reflected rounds don't, uh... Don't come back at you, even if he does reflect. Yeah, I'll just shoot your thigh. I'm gonna shoot your thigh. It's a death, crotch death. Yeah, I'm gonna give you the crotch death. You can't keep that shield up forever. You only have so much mana, I think, probably, hopefully. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shove my balls in your crotch, and, and you're gonna, you're gonna die. Riveting combat right now. But I think it works. It works, it, it, it's, it works better than giving him the fire touch. Are you gonna fire? There, he's firing back, okay. Timing, shields up. Ooh, that still hurt. That still hurt because it was fire or something. Or I don't know. I don't know and I don't like it. Maybe I should just jump over there and give him the fire touch. Give him the bad touch. Am I dealing damage here? I mean, I'm not sure. I feel like I'm dealing damage, but, uh... Well, I feel a lot of things. That guy's going shield reflection crazy. Can you just do that all day long? Getting tempted to go over there. Okay, yep, 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 okay, here he comes. Shield at the last second. One, two, three. Another, another volley's coming. Okay. Shield. Shield, I said. Ah, fuck, he drained my mana. Okay. You know what? That's it. Fire touch. I'm coming over there, you. I'm coming over there, and I'm gonna give you the fire touch soap. Damn it! Does that give you your health back? If it gives his health back because of that, I would be very annoyed. <laughs> I should have saw that coming. He knocked me down the hole. <laughs> oh. Fair enough. I'm gonna touch you so bad. I'm gonna touch you good, and I'm gonna touch you bad. Alright. Get ready for it. How? Oh. oh, he's he's wrecking me with his own bad touch. Ooh, Jesus. I'm gonna die! Game over. <laughs> okay, that guy's pretty good at what he does. This guy. This guy means business. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, getting touchy-feely with an alien. Dealy. Not the recommended course of action there. Maybe we can just ignore him. Maybe we would, maybe this time we just don't talk or no we already fought him the the, the ignoring route. Run, run! Oh, that touch really hurts. Aha! Uh -huh. Got your crystal. 
Ow! Oh, he stopped it! He, he denied it! I, I needed time to touch the thing. He doesn't want me touching the thing. Uh, okay, shield? Wait, no, no. Combat mode! Shield! Combat mode! Good lord. Okay, my shield doesn't help me with that shot. Th those shots hit me anyways. This guy's good. I'm gonna need to weave better magic. <laughs> oh, you hit me with my own balls. Alright, if I just keep him distracted with the balls, move forward. Maybe I can hit him with the fire touch while he's, you know, blocking the balls. Maybe. Yeah, you just keep yourself... You just keep blocking. You don't think about doing anything else but blocking. You don't think about anything... Oh, you hit yourself! You hit yourself with the explosions, didn't you? Haha. -ha. Okay. Just gonna sneak up. Is that... That's not in the distance for fire touch. Okay. Getting into close range combat. Ow. Okay, gotta shoot his feet. Is, it, is that close enough? I don't know. Ow. Yeah, you're gonna hit yourself with the explosions if you explode. I'm almost dead! I'm almost dead! Okay. Ah, I killed myself! That's nice. Alright, great. Don't think I was gonna win that anyways. Load game! This guy. Alright, so... Maybe I can shoot him from a distance, or maybe I should just, uh... Maybe I should just back up and, uh... You know... Better part of Valor. Maybe discretion is the better part of Valor at this point. Okay, yeah, sparklies. I can make sparklies! Can the sparklies help me anyway? You drain my frickin' mana. You drain my mana before combat. That's really... That's a really smart move, I gotta say. I don't like it. Damn it. Oh, oh, crap. That was... This was, uh... You think he's got the advantage right now, since I've got no mana. He actually didn't deal a ton of damage there, but... Okay, the explosion. It doesn't seem like the shield does a good lot of good there. Can I evade that? No, evasion's not much of a thing. These days. I need, I need better magic. I need better magic. Just shooting him in the foot all day long is not gonna win this. Well, I mean, it might, but it's gonna take forever. Did that do anything? Nope. Ow. Damn it. Yeah, he's not gonna let me go very easily. Not a bad game, no. Can I just, uh... Can I just load to where I'm not getting screwed? Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I'll come back for this fight when I'm ready. Hopefully he'll just let me get out of here. Well, this game's kind of it. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Thank you. Alright. This game's interesting, though. If I want a new warp point and get to a new area, I'll have to defeat that dude or sneak past him. I'll do that later. Got enough artifacts, I think. You can't jump that far? It lets me try, though. I mean, of course you can't jump that far, but it <laughs> curses that it lets me try. Oh, my legs. Now a bear's gonna have to do surgery on me. Alright. Get me out of here. Ooh. Oh, this is where the crystal was. It is still here. Can I get it now? Of course not. Can I do that? That doesn't help. Power crystal. Give me the power crystal. Oh, it bugs me so much that there's a power crystal here that I cannot take. Damn it, Power Crystal. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, fine. Just leave it. Just leave it. I don't know what this is. Really don't know what that is either. What am I doing? You know, it looks neat. Certainly looks neat what I'm doing. Not sure if I'm using up a resource or doing anything there, though. I'll have to figure that one out. Definitely gonna have to look up the controls for this game after I'm done. <laughs> Which, of course, this should be the thing I did before.
before I started, but hey. Hey, uh, that's just the way I roll, apparently. Alright, back open, uh, back, back out to the open, the open world. So what are these sparkly thingies about? Sparklies? Is this gonna, this is gonna murder me or something interesting? You're the tracker to detect something underground. Okay. Okay, so that's another one of those resources. That if I had a miner, I could mine up. Same with that symbol. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so the only warp points I have are here, here, and there. And this was back at the Thrid... This is back in the Thriddle area, right? Yeah, where there's some beager. I'm gonna kill one of these beager. Yeah. Oh. Don't start me right next to him, you cruel game. <laughs> at least give me some distance. Oh. There we go. I know you're over there. It's not the shield. Come on, guy. Fire the orbs. Alright, that'll help me get some new spells. And hopefully that'll help me defeat that jerk that I was dealing with. I'm kind of thinking Fire Touch wasn't the best spell to get, but, uh, I don't know, it looked, it certainly looked cool when I was in the weaving world. But I think, I think maybe Shield level 2 would have been a bad, n not a bad idea. Or just better Power Balls, upgrading my Power Ball would have been cool. But what did I know? And it, and it seems to work against these little crispy critters that try to bite you. So, it's not without its advantages, I would say. Because for some reason I doubt the magic shield would help me against those guys. Yeah, if you get surrounded by ankle biters, it's the way to go. So this is the Thriddle area, right? Yeah, this is the good old Thriddle, Thriddle, Thriddle area. 170... 209. Was there an objective around this area? No. No, no objectives in this area. I don't think. Mine are more in the 200 area. 211, yeah. So I shouldn't expect to find any of my objectives in this area. I mean, I can kind of... I can explore. I can certainly explore and check things out, but... I don't have a reason to be here other than uh, just uh, hunting beager. So let's get back to our get back get back to reality. Get back to the task at hand. Okay, back in the bear's field. Hello, Mr. Bear. Good to see you. I know a friend. There's there's another bear I know who's a surgeon. He's pretty nice, actually. Get some first aid. Not sure how much the first aid will do me, but... Yes. Uh, I'd like to enter. Certainly. Pass on through. Okay, I'm gonna buy some weaving crystals. And we're gonna weave ourselves a new spell. That seems like a smart thing to do. And get some medication. So, medicate me. Hello, traveler. Yes, I do. I am wounded. You offer medicate, blah, blah, blah. Yes. First aid. Certainly. Let's take a minute. I was in the yellow zone, so is that like, am I at moderate wounds? I'm, yeah, I'm not I'm not sure of how effective the first aid was just there, but I'm hoping I can get away with just doing first aid and getting on with my life 
No, wait, which one of you was the crystal seller? Damn it, I wish we I think, I think you were the crystal seller, right? Yeah, Shodi's Crystal Palace. Yeah, but we got 68 gem links. Um, we'll buy some crystals, excellent. Like weave crystals. How many would you like? I guess. Well, I could take two, but uh, you don't sell in packs of two. Okay. That's good for me. Also, I think I've got a rate crystal that I can sell. Because I think I think a rate crystal is only good for saving, right? Or for selling, right? I don't know. I'll, I'll hold on. I'll hold on to my rate crystal for now. I think it's only good for selling, but I don't remember. And, uh, might as well just hang on to it. Okay. Actually, uh, since the weaving thing is a minigame, that can use up a lot of crystals. I might want to save it just so I do it effectively. Because I don't have a lot of cash right now. I'd like to see how much the healing did. Of course, I'll have to pass by the old man again, won't I? That's okay. Alright, click. Full health! Nice! Thanks, bear. Good bear. Alright. No, I don't abandon the game. I was worried I'd need more and more serious levels of medication. Okay, then we'll do the weaving minigame, because I don't want to waste all my crystals and screw it up. That'd be no fun. What spell do I get now? I like to enter. Kinda wish I could get through here without bothering you, but Alright, the weaver was up here, right? Yeah, that's the weaver. And this guy's near the entrance so that you would uh, run into him. And feel bad. That you so that we so you'd be sure to run into him and feel bad about yourself. That's, <laughs> that's why they put that guy there. Hello again. Perfect time for a visit. Practicing Nal orbs leaves me so refreshed. You're ready to guide me to the weaving world. I want to go to the weaving world. That is very direct. I like that. Now you remember what I told you? Yes. Five gem links? I brought my own gems. I am ready. Take me now. Okay. So it looks like we have shield, shield, this thing, and power orb. It looks like this thing is actually an easy spell to get with very few gem links. Whereas this one's a very distant one, but power orb is useful. We know power orb is good. We know shield is good. I don't know about this spell, but it's easy to get. Just come here. Come here. Okay, come on. Yeah, come on. You can do it. Come this way. Just a little bit closer. Oh, that's all the gems I have? I ran out? I couldn't even get that one. You ran out of weave crystals. That's too bad. Let's go get some more so we can spend more time together. I didn't play my cards right. Let me try- can I try that again? I think I want to try that again. I want- I want at least new, one new spell. Yeah, it would be- it would have been really hard to get the ones off in the distance. <laughs> on my first try, there's like 39 of them. It's not an easy minigame. If you want to... If you don't want to spend a lot of cash, I'd like to enter. Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, the... I wish I could know what the radius of the gems are, but they're not... They're not extremely big. 
only have like four of these things. Yes, let's go to the weaving world. I can do this. Yeah, I know I'm a very direct man. Yep. It's more expensive every time. Five gem links. Yes, I am. This, like uh, this, this, one, there we go. I did it in the wrong order, I did it in the wrong order. Damn it, I, I put the one near the center. I, I need to do it like a railway, I just need to do it like a railway, but I just thought that I could get away with, I thought I could go away with three for a second there. Damn it! Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Just make it like a railway. It's real simple. It's I was hoping. It's like I thought I could get away with three. Damn it! I will get this new spell. <laughs> oh, I can imagine. Like imagine how many you'd need to get to one. Well, yeah. Last time when I, I got last time I got one of the ones out on the edge, and it took me like thirty. Oh, I don't. I sorry. I don't. I don't care about your name. All right, Sar Sergeant. Okay. Just don't call me Sarge. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> you can do it. Just need to put him like a railway. Real easy. One at a time. Not too far apart from each other, but not too close together. Don't, don't put the cart before the horse. Your mouth looks funny when you just have it like... That that particular mouth movement looks funny. Okay, I want to go to the weaving world. Yes, I know, I'm very direct. Glad you like it. Sexual undertones, yes. <laughs> uh. Disappear. Four. Come on, you're at the center. Come on, come to it. Yes. Okay. You've learned suspension orb desha. That's wonderful. Now you can suspend your opponents instead of blasting them into a million pieces. A, a stunning attack. Well, I would like to, but uh, you know I can't afford it. Well. I really hope we can get to, uh, together again soon. Okay, Suspension Orb! That'll help against that alien. Hopefully next time I fight him, I can kill him. Or maybe, you know what I'd like to do is I'd like to kill this cat man here, but, uh... I probably should save it first. <laughs> Alright, cat man. Just in case I get rocked and I have to go do that thing. That'd be a fun thing to end things off with, though. We're about, we're about to end things off since this past six, but, uh... Catman die. Catman do. Catman die. Alright, uh... Suspension. Oh, it goes over one of my other orbs. Weird. It doesn't go over the other thing. Yeah, let's fight this guy with a suspension orb, a power orb. So we'll suspend him, we'll blast him, we'll protect ourselves. Alright. I'm here to kill a bitch. I mean, I'm here to enter and... <laughs> I'm here to be a peaceful citizen, yes. I'm here to kill a thug. You ain't getting away this time. Help, guard! You ain't getting away. Maybe I won't get you now, but your time's coming. Just watch your back. Wait, what? I wanna fight you, I wanna fight you. I have money. Good. Now I'll have something to take from your corpse. Okay, cool. Yeah. I was hoping that- I, I was worried that that was be, gonna be the path that, uh... That, I don't know, makes me surrender to him. I didn't want to surrender to him, that's for sure. Okay, shield. Don't- don't walk at him. Just keep shooting. Keep shooting. Boy, you have a good shield if you can keep it on that long. 
Aha, suspended, bitch. Take that. Okay, it it didn't it suspend you for that long. Ooh. Oh, crap. The rings. I looked away for Ah ho ho he ha. Ah ho. Oh, can I get out of this? Can I can I get get out of this? Can I get out of this? Hey, I got out of it. Good thing he didn't attack. And I shot the ground. Good idea. A shield. You definitely want to shield that. Oh, I didn't shield the whole combination. You got to shield all the last second if you want to get all three. Ooh, this guy's good. This guy's good. Oh, and if I go into combat mode, I lose mana. That's weird. Suspended. He's coming at. Oh, I tried to shield. Oh, at least I suspended him as he got me caught. Of course, his thing lasts longer than mine. Boink. Pop. I see the power orbs. The suspension orbs take uh, more time to reload than the power orbs. Shield. So maybe I'd be better off with a power pair of power orbs, but well, they kind of seem to be helping, though. Or if I wanted to, if I wanted to evade, if I wanted to get past, if I wanted to get past that other guy, I could just go crazy with suspension orbs. Stop shielding. It's not gonna stop shielding. Okay, what if I fire touch you? I'm gonna fire touch you. What do you think about that? Just gonna slowly walk up and touch you. I bet this guy's gonna scratch my eyes out when I do that. Oh, I killed him! I gotcha! Yeah, Krugar. Yep. He sure is dead. Anything I can do with the corpse? So there's no benefit for me to killing to killing you. Sparklies. There's nothing on your corpse? Not a single bit. Not a single thing. I dance on your grave, you. Heidi, heidi, ho. I dance on you, you know. Well, I killed him, though. Now everyone knows that I'm... I'm the dominant one in this territory. Well, anyways, I'm wounded, though, so that's gonna... That's gonna be a... That's gonna be a problem, so... Yeah, there's no reason to accept that save, but... I got revenge! Vengeance is mine! Thank you very much for watching... Alien Logic. And we're going into a brand new world of weirdness. And I'm enjoying it immensely, actually. I mean, the, the movements and the combats are a little bit, uh, a little bit stiff. But, uh, I like the plots, and it's fun. It's fun to mess with, so. And the, the magic system is very interesting, I gotta say. The magic system is, uh, makes it, it makes it bearable and interesting. And, uh, we'll see about digging up quirks and all the other nonsense later, but we're exploring. So, um, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time for Enter the Gungeon at 7, and uh, then, I forget, what was I doing at 10 as well? I'm forgetting my schedule. Did I set up my schedule? Yeah, I, I, I don't think I did my, I, I don't think I scheduled my 10 o'clock. We'll find out what I'm doing at my 10 o'clock uh, when that comes. I'll be doing something then, but uh, yeah, oh, I forget now. Or, or did I schedule that? We'll see. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And, um, and, and what should I say? My closing thing is, um, and, uh, good luck. And good luck making sense of the world around you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Chunk of Hunk, COF. Uh, <laughs> nice to see a new face. See you next time. And it uh, ends, uh, Funk Soldier and Aladio and King Leopard and everyone else who joined me. Thanks again. See you next time.